in here we've got ourselves the most important tool ever invented i will fight you on that one and i'll win because i have a hammer hey guys this is al with al's lawn care and today we are going to be taking a look at my setup for this coming year let's check it out all right guys this is what we've got going on not the prettiest setup at all in fact it's a little bit ugly but hey hopefully it will work out well for us up front here we have two two and a half gallon no spill cans this one here i have this tape on to uh, tell me this is my mix container uh, just so i don't get it mixed up <laughs> see what i did there mix container mix <laughs> yeah you get it anyways yeah that's my mix fuel and uh, this will be straight gas and this will be as well um, that that jug there I probably won't be taking with me all the time um, but I do have it just just as an extra for now I have this set up so that if I'm running and these cans don't have very much gas in it I can just I can just loop this strap down here onto the uh, onto the eye there so I don't have to worry about them blowing around or you know just moving around too much chafing and that sort of thing over here we have my trimmer this is a steel FS 110R I picked it up used from a guy locally here uh, I believe for $75 something like that got a good deal on it, it runs solid runs good but it is a little bit on the older side and then down below it we have a troy built just a junky junky trimmer <laughs> it's not worth much but if my steel happens to go down for one reason or another this will do in a pinch if i have nothing else to use underneath that we have a trimmer string holder We've got Oregon Gator line on there right now, 0.095 inch. Uh, haven't used it too crazy much yet, but uh, the little bit I have used it, I like it so far. These are my new trimmer racks. Just mounted them not too long ago. Uh, last week, I think it was. If you see down here, I left the bolts long. I need to cut those back yet. Uh, just didn't have the tools when I was uh, setting this up didn't have the tools to cut them back so that will be done and a lot of you guys on Instagram had recommended that I change the locks that came with these racks and so I did have some uh, master locks on there now hopefully hopefully they'll do a good job and uh, I know a lot of you guys were worried about not having engine mount supports, but where I mount this at, uh, I mount right behind the, uh, the safety on here. It just doesn't leave room for play much at all. And it grips, grips tight. If you see up here, it has this foam in here and uh, it grips tight. So there's no, I mean, that's the most rotation you get right there just that little bit so it's not going to be bouncing all over the place when we're going down the road hopefully that will uh, do us good I'll leave a link to these rat racks down in the description they're just they're just cheap ones but uh, hopefully they'll do the job uh, I have I have these clips on here just these ring clips that I'm going to use during the day instead of unlocking and locking these every yard that I get to I'm just gonna slip these clips in at the beginning of the day when I unlock them and uh, then I'll lock these back up at the end of the day and then uh, I just have have a little S beaner that I uh, that I found actually in a parking lot and I just stuck that on there and that can uh, store my clips on there. I can store my my locks when I switch them out. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do there. And the mower is a 48 inch Ferris walk behind with the Kawasaki engine. 
Uh, I have not used this mower a crazy amount. I've only put on like maybe three hours personally. So I don't have a ton of experience with it. So far so good. I've run uh, other Ferris walk behinds and they've always been just beastly. Plenty of power. Uh, they'll mow right through wet grass without even slowing down. So hopefully this one does as good as the others I've used. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see on that. I did pick that mower up used, I believe, for it was either $2,500 or $2,800. Uh, yeah, just picked it up used from a guy near where I'm at. And yeah. Now I didn't even, I, I just completely slipped my mind to talk about the trailer itself. What we're working with is a 6x12. Yeah, a 6x12 trailer, nothing nothing real great it's uh, just a single axle and uh, if you watch some of my other videos you know I had to do some work to it when I picked it up uh, the original pins that were on here rusted off and fell off completely so we had to weld this on here this is just a piece of angle here going this way and then another piece of angle here and uh, just a pipe welded there and we drilled a hole down through there. Had a buddy of mine who's a welder do that out for me. We worked together on it, did, uh, did a little bit of work to it and it turned out real well. Another thing I did to this tailgate was I ground this, uh, I believe it's called expanded metal, I'm not sure. Anyways, this metal mesh. Uh, it overhang it had an overhang here and uh, if you weren't careful when you lifted up the gate uh, you could cut yourself um, so what I did was I just I just took a grinder to it angle grinder and pushed all that stuff back so now it's it's fairly smooth don't have to worry about that just touched everything all up with a little bit of paint and I think it looks looks a lot better than it was so this trailer does have a uh, side gate I don't know how much I'll use it, uh, but it is there. Makes it handy if I do need it. This uh, strap I have on here is just to take some of the rattle out of the gate. It, uh, it did wanna make a lot of racket while you're driving down the road since it had that little bit of wiggle in it. Uh, this, is, this is all that was on this when I bought it. That's the same style that was on the back too that had rusted off and we fixed that. So yeah, I picked this trailer up, also used obviously. It's in, uh, needed some work done to it. Picked it up for around $1,000 if I remember correctly. It's been half a year now. Uh, a little bit shaky on the price that I paid for it. I can't remember for sure. But it was in the neighborhood of $1,000. Uh, the guy had originally been asking 1500 for it. I was like, there's no way. Uh, I said, you know, I can give you a thousand dollars for it. I believe that's what it was. And uh, he said, no, I can't go that low. And I said, okay, thanks. And I waited about an hour and he said, okay, my wife says I can go that low now. So I picked it up for, I think it was a thousand dollars. So yeah, guys, that's a little bit what my uh, my trailer setup is going to look like this year to start out with once I'm sure I'll change I'll have to change some things here and there to make it a little bit better for my blower I'm going to be using a steel BR 550 also a little bit older picked it up used for I believe a hundred and twenty five dollars and this thing it's the best buy I've made uh, it just runs, it runs great, pool, it starts up on your, at the most, second to third pool. Usually it's on the first pool, it starts up, you choke it, and uh, it just, it, it runs great. Uh, hopefully it stays that way, but it's been great so far. Not even, not even a little bit of trouble from it yet. So I don't have a rack for it on the trailer, I'm not sure if I'll do that then at some point in the future or not. Uh, for now, it will just be carried in the bed of my truck. Also in the bed of the truck will be this 
compressor that I showed you in last week's video. That will be on the truck. Not sure how I'm going to store it yet. I want to keep it dry. Also have to look into getting a inverter for the uh, so that I can charge it off of my truck. Not charge it. Fill it up. <laughs> so I can run it off of my truck and make sure that I always have air at all times because I've run a mowing crew for five years, five seasons, and uh, I know <laughs> tires, they, they go flat all the time, and it takes just a lot of time out of your day. Uh, we usually didn't have anything with us to fill it up, or even if, if there was a screw in the tire or anything like that, we didn't have plugs, we, don't, we didn't carry them with us at all. Uh, so that's one thing I wanna do a little bit better with and uh, hopefully it will save me some downtime. I've spent hours already <laughs> just on one flat tire. Uh, it can really suck the time out of your day when you don't have anything with you to fix it up and uh, you just have to run around looking for stuff to get it fixed. So hopefully we can avoid that. Also guys, I got myself a storage building. Uh, if you didn't notice throughout the rest of the video, uh, this is what I'm working with. Just a small, small mini barn uh, <laughs> it's in if you can see it yeah there you go <laughs> it's in pretty rough shape I uh, I'm still gonna do do a little bit of patching and that sort of thing to the place uh, try to keep the snow out of here but uh, it's a whole lot better than just storing stuff outside I can tell you that much and uh, I'm not I don't have to pay anything for it however I am going to be maintaining my, uh, my parents' property. They have two acres of land. Probably three quarters of that would be yard to be mowed. And so I'm gonna be taking care of that. Uh, in exchange, I get this whole building to use uh, for free. So yeah, it's a good deal for me, good deal for them, it works out nicely. Okay guys, out here in my truck, I have not bought myself a uh, professional toolbox yet. Uh, money is tight right now, guys. Uh, like I've said in some other videos, we haven't been working in quite a while. The weather has just been kicking our butts. So anyways, poor man solution. <laughs> Ugly blue tote. Uh, keeps the water off and stores some stuff. Yes, I know what you guys are saying. You're redneck and you should be embarrassed. Well, first of all, yes. Second of all, yes. Is that gonna stop me? No. <laughs> so inside here, we have a set of jumper cables. Pretty good quality ones. Uh, I've got a toolbox. In here we've got some lubricating oil. Uh, various hardware in here just from just odds and ends. Underneath, we've got a few tools, nothing fancy. In here, we've got ourselves the most important tool ever invented. I will fight you on that one. And I'll win because I have a hammer. We've also got some garbage bags. We've got air compressor accessories, uh, you know, air chucks, that sort of thing. Got a big toe strap here, in case something gets stuck, you know it will. We've also got some ratchet straps and that sort of thing in here, just, just some odds and ends. Got a little shovel in here that I don't really have a place for. Pick this up to clean out those uh, gutters that we did a while back. But yeah, so that's what's in my redneck blue tote. Hey, it'll get the job done, I hope. Okay, so inside the truck, we've got Hearing protection hanging up back there should do a good job for us. It's steel. I mean, you can't really go wrong with steel, can you? At least the commercial stuff. We got ourselves a pair of sunglasses up there, protect our eyes. We've also got a uh, camera mount and a phone mount right there. Just makes things easier. Also, a very important landscaping accessory. We've got ourselves some double mint gum. Very important. And, uh, in here, we've got ourselves first aid kit. Pretty good kit, got it off of Amazon. Pretty good quality stuff in there. 
for a pretty decent price. We've also got a pair of binoculars because, well, you never know when you're going to see a big buck across the field, okay? You just got to you just gotta be prepared. Yeah, that's pretty much in, it for the inside of the truck. Not much going on. We've also got a box of uh, door hangers there that we need to put out yet. Uh, the weather just has been keeping it from us. Anyways, guys, that's going to kind of be the beginning setup for this year. We'll just see how it goes. Uh, leave me any suggestions that you have in the comments. Uh, like I said, money is tight, so I can't, can't really spend a lot of money on things that would just be nice and are not, like, absolutely essential. Uh, this is just a very basic setup. We're not all tricked out yet. Uh, yeah. So, thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, if you liked it, go ahead and subscribe, and we'll see y'all later. Thanks for watching.